Tuesday, August 25th. Hey there, I'm Ashton Altieri. It's going to be another hot one. We've got three more days of this today, tomorrow and Thursday. And then we finally get a little break as we get into Friday. Temps today will be well into the 90s again. We'll come close to 100 degrees in Metro Denver. Record for today is 99. Uh, we're not as confident about matching that record as we were with the 98 degree record yesterday. We did do that. I think we'll at least get to 98. 99 may be a little bit of a stretch, but we'll see. Meanwhile, Sterling, 102 degrees up there in northeast Colorado. That could be the hottest spot in the state. 70s and 80s in the mountains, both today and tomorrow. Map doesn't change very much tomorrow, but it won't be quite as hot for Wednesday as well as for Thursday. Here's the bigger picture. Not much has changed. The area of high pressure that was centered right over Arizona yesterday, it's moved a little bit farther east today, starting to make its way into New Mexico. And this thing is eastbound toward uh, the panhandle of Texas over the next few days. As that happens on Friday, it'll move far enough away that'll allow summer cold front to roll in. So that'll drop temperatures, bringing a better chance to rain on Friday into Saturday. Until then, not much change. Limited moisture and some California wild smoke. Uh, wildfire smoke coming in on that westerly flow mixing with our own smoke here. So it is going to be another day with bad air quality. Plan to see, smell, and breathe a lot of smoke again today. Future cast showing up just a small chance for gusty thunderstorms. We'll leave that chance in at 10% here in Denver. If you get any kind of rain today, consider yourself very lucky. Tomorrow, 30% chance for rain, 20% chance on Thursday, then up to a 50% chance on Friday with that summer cold front that drops us from 95 to 85. So keep your expectations low. Saturday, we're back up to 88, and by Sunday, we could be back up to 90 degrees. Most of next week, though, as we transition from August to September, looks like we'll spend in the 80s instead of the 90s.